Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are about to head to a place called Burger Bros. So, Burger Bros, yes, so it's a place uh, like a burger restaurant. Uh, we're going to the Mississauga location to do an absolutely massive burger. This is the ultimate bro burger. Like, bruh. Seriously, like, this thing's gonna make you say bruh. So, apparently, it's like four plus pounds of beef. Apparently, it's just massive, just this huge stacked burger. It looks absolutely delicious. We got 30 minutes to eat it. I'm very excited. I believe there's also like a side. You can choose a side as well, but I think you get to pick it. So it's like fries, uh, maybe onion rings, um, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's about it. 30 minutes, a massive, massive burger challenge. I'm gonna give you some more details here momentarily, but let's get rolling. I'm about to head on out. I'm gonna uh, grub down, put on some eating clothes, and that's about that. So uh, let's get on going. Let's hit the road. And these food. And real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Vessi. Look at these, look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoes. So Vessi is a 100% waterproof and weatherproof shoe, and I've actually put them to the test. Here in Canada, literally just the last couple days, we don't have snow on the ground. We actually finally start to see green. And you know what I wore through the winter because I was going from hot climate like Mexico to cold climate here? My Vessis, all through the winter. Snowproof, slush proof, whatever you need. The shoe itself hugs you like a sock. Not to mention it's Diamond Tech technology is a knit material which looks and does not feel waterproof but it 100% is all right to see actually how waterproof these things are here Vessi shoe put in the old sink there just turn on tap now the crazy thing with this is look how the water just beads right off it the water just does not soak into it at all they're also sustainably made which is super cool they're seriously an everyday super comfortable wearable shoe so especially for this rainy and upcoming muddy season vessies are my choice of shoes so if you want a rinsable shoe click that link down below that is vessi.com forward slash joel hansen using that code joel hansen and that will actually save you 25 dollars off your pair of vessi shoes so click that link Save yourself some hassle, have some great looking, comfortable, wearing, and waterproof shoes. Vessi. Now all of that, let's get to the rest of the video. All right, everyone, so here we are with the burger. It's absolutely massive. So we have over four pounds of beef. We have over six pieces of chicken. We have countless onion rings. We have a whack of bacon. We have hot dogs. We have buffalo shrimp, we have calamari. There's cheese on all the patties. We do have vegetables down here at the bottom underneath it all. There's absolutely so much on this. We got grilled pineapple, we got sauces, um, being their bro sauce, which is like a house sauce, we have garlic sauce. Just, it looks so delicious. There's so much food here. This is an absolutely giant burger. Plus we have a side of sweet potato fries with that as well. So it's a lot of food, but essentially we're gonna get started here. Um, only way to do it is to do it. And this thing looks great. Just it's freaking beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have to like lay this on its side. And so I'm going to do that right now because it will not stay. Oh, I can see, oh, you see that steam in there at the bottom? That is definitely hot down there. So we're gonna start at the top. We will get our way through this somehow, I sure hope. And if not, well, we tried. I'll put it that way, but here. Get you a better view so you can see the burger. Probably like that. There you go. Should be able to see that, all right? Okay, well with that, we can start it. We do have ketchup. I have all the ketchup. Big ketchup fan, you know that. I'm gonna dump that on the plate. And essentially, wish me luck. So let's get started, we'll save the count of. Maybe five, four, three. Oh, hold on, let's get some skewers out. Let's make sure I can get a, let me get a, a bite and then, um, hold on. Technically good for we'll too. All right, hold up. Okay, okay, oh good, that scares. Anyway, one, let's get started. Pineapple. Very nice tasting burger. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Burger Bros eating the ultimate bro burger and this thing is absolutely giant. So we're talking over four pounds of beef, as we said, piece of chicken, we got calamari, we got butter or buffalo shrimp. Like there's just so much on this burger. Um, like yeah, it's just crazy, crazy huge burger. And then of course we had the uh, pound of fries for the side. I um, went with the sweet potato fries, um, you know, instead of like onion rings or whatever, because I already kind of had onion rings on the burger um, and I like sweet potato fries. It's not all the time you can get sweet potato fries as a fry or a side option often you know it will just be a standard french fry so whenever i have the opportunity i like to switch it up i like free, uh, sweet potato fries and well good thing i like burgers love the taste of those burgers salt pepper the grilled pineapple on this is actually fantastic as well excuse me here's some calamari some eggs so with a 30 minute time limit, I knew that it was definitely something we are going to have to get to work on. Um, the thing was absolutely massive. Luckily, uh, the bottom of the burger, like the bottom half of the burger seemed to hold the heat more than the top half of the burger. So I kind of start with the top, which I thought would be a little cooler, and then work my way down. Um, and in that, I got to basically try all the ingredients or like almost all the different kinds of toppings they put on their burgers. So like, for example, I had some like, grilled pineapple on some of the patties on the top, which was absolutely fantastic. It was so delicious. I've never had grilled pineapple in a burger before, but it was definitely a must have. I also had some eggs, for example, again, on both these items, which would be featured on a special burger. Definitely my first time in calamari on a burger, but it's good. So while I would definitely not expect you to eat this burger, you could definitely still go in and get like, you know, the burger with the egg and the pineapple and, you know, whatever else on it, because it was absolutely delectable. And I will say, actually, the burgers were cooked really nicely. I really enjoyed the flavors. Um, they weren't overdone. And it kind of was just like a simple salt pepper, but salt pepper and beef is such a dang good taste. And let's be honest, who doesn't like a good burger? So comment down below if you like a good burger, hashtag team burger. And if you don't like burgers, well, I, let's, we'll just get back to the topic. I like burgers. I like burgers. Oh, like a good burger is, it's just amazing. Amazing. Still really enjoyed that burger. Really great flavor on it. The shrimp on the burger is interesting. They also had this bro sauce um, on the burger as well, which was really nice. And I believe that's also what they serve with the uh, with the fries as well. You see there's like a little ramekin of a lighter sauce. Um, so the bro sauce on the burger uh, tasted great. It was like a, eh, kind of like a zesty, I don't know, like mayonnaise, like kind of like a flavored aioli. That's kind of the way I would describe it. Maybe a little bit of remnants of like a Thousand Islands or a Big Mac sauce or something along those lines, but really zesty. And I really liked that. I really liked the uh, the zest that it had had. It's probably coming on almost five minutes in, I think. The burger's very delicious. The meat tastes great. Really love the seasoning on it. The, uh, the pineapple on it was definitely a game changer. Of course, I also had my Mr. Ketchup. I'm a big ketchup fan, and ketchup and burgers and fries go oh so well together. So let's continue to get through this. And hopefully, complete this thing. What 
Okay, it's post stage. Yeah, yeah, I'll be at the south coast. Yeah, I'm through. You know? So armed with my ketchup, you know, a good appetite, and uh, some delicious food, again, some really nice tasting burgers, um, that was, that's pretty much it. I think that's most of the information I have to share with you today. Um, so like I said, solid burger, never had calamari or shrimp on a burger, that was definitely unique. But the grilled pineapple was definitely an amazing, amazing thing. And also the bacon was really good. It was beef bacon, as this place is halal, um, but like, it's it was good. Like, I really like the seasoning, kind of that cured flavors on it. I just love meats in general, what can I say? But I'm going to let you get the rest of the video. Hope you found this informative, and uh, I'll tell you, let's tune on in, let's see what happens, and uh, let's try to get this burger completed. Definitely hotter at the bottom on this burger. All right, so moving through the burger, not too bad. And then I think about seven minutes in, here's some chicken. Chicken tastes good. Definitely a lot of food, but it's going down pretty easy. I think it's a happy healthy shirt, you know. Really does what this. Really does I love ketchup. Kind of uh, sweet potato fries there. So, still the mountain burger. Let's get her done. A lot of bacon too. Holy crap! Bacon's really good. Nice black pepper flavor on the on the burger. Beef and black pepper go really well. just over 10 minutes under the very soggy greasy bottom bun but means it goes down easy wow. 
finally saw the benches as well. Huh. So that's done. Okay. Okay. Let me get your sweet fries. Now let's try the sweet tail fries. Is it really nice, crunchy? Some kind of sauce here as well. Tangy and zesty. Not bad. Reminds me of like a flavored aioli of some sort. It's a garnish, but might as well. How many vegetables? about maybe 13 just over 13 minutes actually a very 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 good burger it's very impressive beef tasted great and that's for me the main part the salt the pepper the seasonings very very nice it still had a lot of like residual uh, moisture and juice in it really excuse me like that burger sweet potato fries even weren't bad to be honest it's been a while since I had sweet potato fries so I think I appreciate them a little bit more um, yeah they're good they're salt has a nice crisp though Everything on that burger was delicious. Really like the bacon. Again, um, some interesting things. The calamari, I've never had a burger before, and it wasn't bad. Buffalo shrimp, I've never had a burger before. That wasn't bad either. But what was a great, great, great addition, besides all the bacon, which the bacon was very, very good, was the grilled pineapple. Oh my gosh, that sweetness added just such a nice flavor, dynamic, to that, you know, obviously salty richness of that beef. So very, very good. So a huge thank you to the Burger Bros for having me out. So this is their Missog location, also one in Brampton as well. Um, but yeah, no complaints. Very delicious. Really enjoyed it. So for that, no bill, which is awesome. And uh, that's about it. It was, it was very, very good overall. Again, no complaints. Definitely a big challenge. I mean, overall, that burger itself is probably ish, tipping seven pounds, pound of fries. So you're looking like almost eight pounds. But uh, yeah, so that everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, until next time, stay happy out there. If you're happy eating, get yourself some food. Don't do what I do though, this is too much. Just get yourself a small burger and you know, at that, that's about it. So have a lovely day, I appreciate you. I accept you, who you are, I love you. Like that video, comment down below, let me know you think. Would you try this burger? And that, till next time, happy eating. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there about it, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos, that's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.